This video gives a quick summary of what we've written in a document called What is the Church, which you can find on bctulsa.com. Uh, this, this video will give a really brief summary of what's in that paper. Uh, to talk about the church, we have to ask the most basic questions we can about God and ourselves. Questions like, who is God? Uh, what has he done? Who am I? And, and what do I do? How do I respond to this God? The answers to these questions are found in what we call the gospel. The gospel is the central storyline of the scriptures. It's, it's what they're ultimately about. The gospel includes uh, truths about who God is and what he's done, and truths about who I am and how I respond. So the church absolutely must be grounded in gospel truths and practices if it's going to be a healthy church. We've addressed what the gospel is, both in its truths and practices, in a gospel statement we have posted on bctulsa.com. You can look at that if you want more detail. Another central idea we've arrived at about the New Testament church is a dynamic you can see in the book of Acts. In Acts, we see that the church is always doing two things. One is the church is always being established. It, what this means is it, it's being becoming mature. It's becoming the people of God in a unified, uh, solidified manner. At the same time, the church in Acts is always expanding. It's it's the constant movement outward to introduce new people to the gospel who will also eventually need to be established in the gospel as well. As we look throughout Acts, and particularly the letters of Paul, we can see more clearly what establishment and expansion look like. Establishment looks a lot like uh, what we could call little houses. and What we mean by that is simply nuclear families learning to be God's people. And then these little families come together to make up a big house, which is the chart. The church is a larger household, and in this light, probably the best way to describe what the church is is a is a family of families. And when we think of church this way, it becomes pretty obvious that, like any family, the church has to be made up of life on life close relationships. And, and these are the kinds of relationships demonstrated by Jesus and his apostles as examples of what church family really should look like. We call this discipleship. And when we talk about expansion, expansion looks like the health of this family of families becoming so strong that eventually they multiply. They have babies. They invite others into this new family. And a good word to describe expansion is mission. So when we put these two ideas together, we can describe the church as a family on mission. Uh, the New Testament describes the leaders of this family on mission. And there are at least three kinds of leaders in the New Testament church. The first uh, is people with graces to equip the body to do ministry. These leaders express their graces both in establishing the family and also quite a bit in expanding it on mission. We often call these leaders the fivefold graces. There are also leaders who are appointed by the fivefold team. These leaders are local and are focused exclusively on establishing the family while cheering on the expansion of the church. We call those leaders elders. And finally, there are leaders who work in a more hands-on ministry project service capacity, and these leaders are called deacons. So to summarize our thoughts on what the church is, we'd say that the New Testament church is a family on mission, built on the foundation of the gospel, and served by these three types of leaders so that the church can function as it should. One additional note is that in the book of Acts, we see that the church in any one city is really a collection of multiple churches. And in Acts, we see that some of these city churches, like the one at Antioch, appear to have a resident fivefold team that would also be sent out to start up and establish churches in other cities. These fivefold leaders appear to train up other leaders, both in their home city and in the cities to which they were sent, and, and so that occasionally in one of these city churches, they, they would develop into a similar kind of training and sending hub. Ephesus and Philippi appear to be these kinds of churches, so there's evidence in Acts that there were hub churches that would resource a network of churches and maybe even serve more than one network of churches. So in summary, the church is a family on mission, established in the gospel, with leaders that serve it, and that lives in a network of churches and sometimes can be a resource or hub church to that network. And that's a little bit of how we see the church in the New Testament.